So this is going to be part two in my series on building my compact table saw. In the last episode I built the motor unit and the mechanism for raising and lowering the blade. And in this one I'm going to show you how I made the tilt mechanism that utilizes wooden trunnions. Trunnions allow for the blade's tilting axis to be in one plane with the surface of the table. And that allows the blade to stay in position while being tilted. Which basically means that you can use one zero clearance insert for all angles. And if you have one, you can still trust the scale on your fence system with the blade tilted. Now, using trunnions for tilting the arbor is basically standard in almost every table saw. Even my really old table saw from around the 60s has them. They are a rugged and tried and true concept that just works. I drew the thing up in SketchUp and I printed out these templates and you can clearly see how the center of these circles is located outside of the actual trunnion. The thickness of the tabletop is going to be 21 millimeters, and I've added another 5 millimeters of clearance to make sure that the trunnions won't end up compressing sawdust against the tabletop. So this is going to be the position of the trunnions in respect to the tabletop. The center of these circles and therefore the tilting axis of anything that's attached to the trunnions must be located exactly in one plane with the tabletop. Otherwise the trunnions will not work as intended. And then I stuck the template onto a piece of plywood. And this is the jig that I made. It's very similar to a router compass. And I can put my little palm router onto here and this piece of plywood is bolted onto this side of this arm and this piece of plywood is just a little bit loose and this way I can clamp the router in position wherever I want to. And now lining the piece up with this mark And I'm moving the router little by little and very slowly sneaking up on that perfect fit. And this way I was able to achieve what is basically a perfect fit without any play. It may look a little bit wasteful that I cut away all this material instead of cutting this piece more to this shape in the first place. But even though this is Baltic birch plywood, it still has inner tensions and I feared that if I cut it into this shape right away, it may bend or warp. Also, it's now easier to index it when I screw it onto the motor mount. And I glued each trunnion onto a spacer to make it easier to line them up properly and give them a little more support. And then I screwed them onto the motor mount. The main body of the saw is just a box made from spruce plywood.
It already looks like these trunnions are working, but now comes the real test. This piece of plywood has the exact same thickness as the later tabletop and I'm just gonna line it up with that blade. Alright. Now everyone, brace yourselves. Okay, that looks pretty much perfect. For the nut that's gonna push the motor unit to tilt, I embedded two M16 nuts into a piece of plywood and I glued them into place using epoxy. Because they are locked from rotating and sit on the same shaft, these nuts can't get pulled out of their recesses, even if the epoxy should fail, which it will not. By threading the assembly onto a piece of threaded rod before the epoxy had hardened, I made sure that the threads of those nuts would still line up. The pillow bearing has a 17mm bore, so I wrapped some tape around the 16mm threaded rod to keep it centered. And yes, I'm using a simple piece of threaded rod. No problems with wear and tear. Get over it. Also, no problem with the small pitch, since the lever it's moving is fairly short. And with the bearing screwed on and the hand wheels attached, I could try the mechanism for the first time. There was a little bit of interference because the hole underneath the pillow bearing was a little bit too small for that counter nut, but that was an easy fix with a rasp. And after putting a bit of grease onto that threaded rod, the entire thing got just obscenely smooth. People of course always suggest to add some type of lock to the hand wheels to keep them from turning from vibrations. But that doesn't seem to be necessary with this machine. So this was part 2 in my series on building my compact table saw. In the next episode we're gonna build the tabletop and the fence system and we're gonna get the saw up and running.